In this video, let's talk about using tag helpers to help generate links. The scenario is this. This is the categories page where we list all of the categories. For now, we're using an ordered list, but let's replace this with HTML tables. After that, we will generate links within the HTML table. So I'm going to delete this. And before I add the tables, I want to be more protective. I want to make sure the model that is sent to this view is not null. And also I want to make sure that the count is greater than zero. Because I know that this model that is combined to this view is a list. So therefore I can use count. So only in this case do we display the HTML table that contains a list of categories. So I think this is called defensive programming, just to make sure that we don't create any exceptions. So I happen to have the HTML. I think everybody knows HTML, so I'm not going to teach HTML in this course. So therefore, I'm just going to copy and paste what I have, and then I'll explain. Okay, I have some bootstrap classes apply to the table and in table I have three columns name and description and this column is empty because in the TD that corresponds to the header I want to add a edit button and only when the user click on the edit button do I want to redirect the user to the category page so I can use a anchor element as well but then I'm going to apply a button class so that it will look like a link button like this and then the caption is edit. So here's the question. What the URL is supposed to be here? If we write the URL directly, it would be categories. So this is the controller. And then edit, that's the action, and then the ID here. So for that, one way to do this is to use explicit reader expression. We're going to use a at sign with brackets. So when we have brackets like this, this is called explicit razor expression and then here i can just add any c-sharp expressions and the c-sharp expressions will be evaluated okay, for example i can use plus or i can use a string interpolation and then here i can add the id which is going to be category dot category id add sign with brackets and everything in here is just regular c-sharp expression with this change, I can try to run the application. Okay, so I have this table. It looks much better than before. And then I have the edit button. And if I hover my mouse over, if you look at the bottom left corner, the URL is actually properly rendered. So if I click on edit, I come to category number one. If we come to meet, then I see category number three. So everything looks okay. But there's a better way to generate links and that is called tag helpers. So I'm going to delete this href. And you can see that we have HTML element and we have this attribute. A tag helper, most of the time, it refers to attribute name. To use tag helpers, we need to add the tag helpers first. So we can scroll up. At the very top, we can say add tag helper. I'm going to add all of the tag helpers. And after we specify this, then we can come over here and if we just start typing, you can already see actually from the IntelliSense that we have all of this attribute start with ASP. So these are all tag helpers. So in order to generate a URL that can be processed by a controller's action method, we can use ASP controller. So this specifies the controller that the link should use. The next one is going to be the action. So we are going to go to the edit action. The next one, we need to provide the parameter. So I'm going to say ASP root. And then you can see this one has a dash. So this one refers to the parameter that the edit action uses. So let's go to controllers. Here you can see that it's called ID. So therefore, here I'm just going to add ID. And what goes here is the category dot category ID. So this at sign without brackets is called implicit reader expression. The one that we used was at sign followed by brackets. That's called explicit reader expression. So now we have these three tag helpers. 
combine together to help us generate the same URL that we used the reader syntax to generate. You can definitely use the explicit reader expression to generate the URL. You can also use tag helpers to target certain controller and certain action method in the controller and provide the parameters by using tag helpers. You have different options and it's up to you what you want to do. I personally prefer using tag helpers. I think it's cleaner. And with this change, we should be able to generate the same URL like before. So let's go to categories and we can see everything is correctly generated. Category number one, category number two, and also category number three. Now that we know how to use tag helpers, another thing I want to do is to replace the URLs that we put in the layout file. So in the layout file, which is in the shared folders, let's go to the layout file. Here, we're just uh, hard coding the, uh, the string, right? That's perfectly valid, but I also want to use tag helpers here. And do you remember how to do this? So ASP dash. And the moment I start typing, I realized that I did not add tag helpers, right? So I have to do that on this page as well. It looks like we have to add the tech helpers on every single page where we want to use it, but that's not necessarily true. In the next video, we can resolve that issue briefly. But here, once we add this, we can use all of the tech helpers. So I'm going to say ASP dash controller. So we're targeting the home controller. So I'm going to say home. And then we're targeting the action, which is index. Same thing over here. We're targeting controller which is categories and the action is index. Now let's just test it. Make sure it still works correctly. Okay, let's click on homepage, still goes to homepage. Click on categories, still goes to categories. And that's everything I wanna show in this video. I will see you in the next one.